Okay, so this is today's job. Uh, not bigger than anything I think I've worked on prior to this. It is a Matthew Ferguson 40. Just trying to get enough space to actually get this whole thing in. So it's a Matthew Ferguson 40 combine. This is, uh, I think, a 1996 machine. Stick here on the other side of it. see she's a big girl uh, this thing was I was asked by the owner to um, go and get it running had been parked up for a little while and didn't want to start so just uh, because it was in somebody else's premises and a deal hadn't been done at that stage I didn't um, film well I only filmed a small bit of that work which I will show you afterwards but um, I'll take you through it today, we're going to go through some of the electrical system on it and we're also going to start a few fuel system issues. Let's bring you into the cab. And climb up here. Alright. So. It's inside the cab. And uh, hopefully when this thing goes to work, we'll be able to bring you some more video of it actually working. So. We'll get cracking and work in here in the meanwhile. So when I worked on this thing last time, the uh, big problem in getting it started was actually getting fuel into the fuel system. It didn't want to prime, uh, even though there was plenty of fuel in the diesel tank, so this is the diesel tank. It sits quite low on the machine as you can see. The feed comes out the top, comes down here into a little sediment bowl, water separator, and you get rubber fuel lines running all the way to the engine up top. So. Uh, the owner has still has found since that these were perished, but at the time just to get the machine running so it could be tested and got ready for transport. I just bypassed them and put a temporary fuel tank up in the back of it. So I'll show you that in a minute. So that's one job we've got to do today, it's just to replace these lines with some fresh holes. So this is the view up top it's a um, Valmet 612 engine, six under with a turbo. Uh, I'd never worked on one of these engines before. The fuel pump is squeezed down there at the rear and the fuel lines come up there somewhere. So uh, literally what I did last time was take the line straight off the injection pump uh, to a small electric pump and into a 20 litre container of diesel. Uh, switched on my pump, bled it through the two filters and then we cracked a couple of injectors and she fired up so uh, first job as I say is to string in the new um, fuel lines we get them connected up and we'll prime the thing up and fire it off its own fuel tank the other thing as well is obviously the battery is mounted at ground level which is a long way away so this thing cranked really really slowly uh, battery was perfect but it was just a case that these leads are so long that slightest bit of corrosion or dirt on them you won't get um, won't get enough cranking power up there so to overcome this when I started I just threw a battery up in the engine cover at the back connected it parallel so I just connected down here onto this positive stud in the solenoid and onto that earth strap down there with a set of jump leads and with a second battery below and she cranked enough to fire but um, I'll also take a look at that so we'll clean up those leads so you can get it turning a little bit faster right get started Such a big machine, there is no her. Oh. Get in. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the new fuel lines installed. So basically you have an outlet and return on the tank. Down here, sediment bowl. Back up to the engine, I left the little clickety-clack pump here for the moment. And throw some power on that rather than cranking the engine over and get the diesel up to the filter. So I'll jump topside there and we'll get a plate out. All right, give it there, so on the filter, on the pump, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I've got air coming up anyway, so I assume we've got fuel. So just give you an idea, the link to these fuel lines that pump now has been running for quite a while. There's still no sound diesel up at these filters. So. Oh, yeah, I've got diesel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I'm good at that. No. Nope. All right, let's see if this thing fires up. Okay. Yeah, go for it. All right. Ah. The graphics are a little bit um, 90s. We got a charge light. Um, there is actually, if you look here, there's three charge lights in it. There's at least two alternators that I found. One of them isn't charging, and there is a bell loose up there. I think we'll have to replace quite a few bells. So I'm just going to climb up and have a look at the engine from this side, see what's going on with her. So you know it's running off its own diesel tank and um, seems to have set down small bit smoky but that will clear up after a while it's probably just the lack of running and just getting the last of the air out of it so it doesn't seem to want to run without the little or start without the little clickety clack pump so i think we're going to be retaining that but um obviously need to uh connect it up properly so i need to find an ignition control supply here somewhere that we can feed that off. Yeah.
fishing quite a bit, but uh, can't get uh, the information on that screen now. But yeah, for the alternator light, it's gone out. Um, the owner just found a loose belt. There's three alternators in the machine, there's two on the right hand side is to face the engine, there's owner on the left, so you tighten up that belt on the left one. The belts in the other two are going to have to be replaced, but they're okay for the moment. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll run it down now and uh, take a look at the engine. So, I'm going to leave it there for the moment, I'm going to keep this video kind of short, uh, but I will be coming back to this machine, it's just I've been travelling all week so I need to get home to my wife and do some other stuff, uh, try and get up here again, probably about two days time, do a bit more work on it and I'll bring you a video of that and we'll uh, get a video then of the thing up and running but we'll do some other repair work before then and I'll take you through it, I might take you through more of the workings of it as well. Um, I actually need to learn myself from the owner because really the engine and electrical system is but the limit of my uh, knowledge on these things. So it's going to be a chance to learn some more stuff. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.